A lot of brand new MMJs, people who've never really thought about it before, are wondering, okay, how do I shoot my own stand-ups when I don't have a photographer anymore? There's a few simple ways, and then there's kind of a fancy way. Of course, it helps if you've got one of these. But then again, it's not entirely necessary. If you have a little camera, you can get some really nice point of view. You can walk around, show things, and it's quick if you have a camera like this, like this, really small, to carry you with you in your bag. Sometimes reflective surfaces can come in handy. But right after our story aired last year, she got a call. There's also this quick way. You can stand in front of your camera if you don't have much time, say what you have to say, and if you have a viewfinder, you can watch yourself and make sure you're kind of looking all right, good, I'm ready. It's also a really good idea to play that back to make sure that your iris is right, your focus is right, and uh, that your mic is good because you've got no one back there to check it. Now, if you find yourself with a little bit more time, there is a, a fancier way of shooting a stand-up with a longer lens and uh, that nice tight compression that uh, a filmmaker might like or if someone were actually behind the camera. Hopefully you have a light bag with one of these light stands. Bring my light stand out. Kind of position it where I'm going to stand, a little ways away. Put it up to my approximate height. Come back to my camera and sight it in. Okay. Lock my tripod in, then I walk over to where I'm gonna be. Kick my light stand out of the frame, and I say what I need to say. Watch the tape, it looks pretty good. All these stand-ups are done pretty quickly, even the one with the light stand, you can set up in about five minutes or less if you know what you're gonna say. You say it, you say it quick, you get back in the car, and you head home to edit. Here are key points. Point the viewfinder to you so you can set up your stand-up. Use a light stand and then move it, standing where it was, so you know you're in the right spot. And finally, make sure your on-camera storytelling, your stand-ups, help advance the story. That you don't do them just to get your face on camera. They need a purpose. For example, if you're running short on meaningful video, that's an opportunity for a stand-up, rather than wallpaper video. Stand-ups work really well for show and tell. Whenever you use them to show something, to point something out, viewer interest spikes. Take care.